Good afternoon everyone. In this Indian history session, we'll be discussing the rather controversial Maratha statesman Nana Fadnavis. So let's get straight into it. Balaji Janardhan Bhanu, also known as Nana Fadnavis, was an important minister in the Peshwa's administration and a senior Maratha statesman. For over 20 years, he called the shots in the Maratha empire. To the Europeans, he was known as the Maratha Machiavelli. Balaji Janardhan Banu was born in a Chitpavan Brahmin family in Satara, Maharashtra in the year 1742 and was nicknamed Nana. His grandfather, Balaji Mahadaji Banu, had migrated from a village called Velas near Sri Vardhan. The Bhats and the Bhanus were friends since the times of the first hereditary Bhatt Peshwa, Balaji Vishwanath Bhatt. Nana Fadnavis would go on to become the main minister responsible for administration and finance during the Peshwa regime. In 1761, Nana was among the few who escaped to Pune surviving the slaughter of the Third Battle of Panipat, becoming a main minister directing the affairs of the Maratha Confederacy, although he didn't have any military background himself. This was a period of political instability as one Peshwa was rapidly succeeded by another. Using his administrative skills and shrewdness, Nana Fadnam has played a pivotal role in holding the Maratha Confederacy together in the midst of insurrections and the growing power of the East India Company. Although given military training, Nana Fadnavis did not possess a robust constitution, but he still displayed some of his best military skills in victories against Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan of Mysore, the Nizam of Hyderabad and the East India Company's forces. After the assassination of Peshwa Narayan Rao in 1773, Nana Fadnavis managed the affairs of the state with the help of a 12-member council known as the Barbhai Council. The council was part of Nana's oath to protect Madhav Rao II, son of Narayan Rao, born posthumously to Gangabai, the widow of Narayan Rao, for the Peshwa family's internal conflicts. The Barbhai Council was an alliance of influential Sardars led by Nana. Other members of the council were Haripan Fadke, Moro Ba Fadnis, Sakaram Bapu Bokil, Trimbak Rao Mama Pethe, Mahadaji Shinde, Tukoji Rao Holkar, Faltankar, Bhagwan Rao Pratinidhi, Maloji Gorphade, Sardar Raste, and Babuji Naik. A man well known for his intellectual abilities, Nana, the Maratha Machiavelli, had been one of the first to realize the existential threat posed by the company to all independent Indian rulers. In 1777, Fadna was granted the French a port on the west coast in an attempt to check the British. This led the British to advance towards Pune and a battle was played out at Wadgaon as part of the First Anglo-Maratha War. The Marathas defeated the British and were forced to sign the Treaty of Wadgaon, as per which the English had relinquished all territories acquired since 1773 to the Marathas. In the 1780s, Willing to bury the Hashe, Nana Fadnavis tried to stitch together a first triple alliance with the Nizam and Tipu Sultan with a view to expelling the company from India, but it wasn't to happen. Nana Fadnavis died on 13th of March 1800. Following his death, Peshwa Bajirao II placed himself in the hands of the British, triggering the Second Anglo-Maratha War and began the breakup of the Maratha Confederacy. Nana Fadnavis had worked tirelessly to keep the different parts of the Confederacy together. Tragically for the Marathas, he was the last of the talented generation that came to prominence after the catastrophic Maratha defeat at the Battle of Panipat in 1761, and his death came at the end of a five-year period, 1795 to 1800, which had also seen the loss of the Peshwa and the senior members of the houses of Sindhya and Holkar. With the death of the great Maratha minister Nana Fadnavis, wrote the British resident at Pune, General Palmer, all the wisdom and moderation of the Maratha government departed. In Nana's absence, the three ambitious but quarrelsome and inexperienced teenagers who had amongst themselves inherited the leadership of the Confederacy, the new Peshwa Bajirao II, the new head of the House of Sindhya, Daulat Rao, and the new chief of the House of Holkar, Jaswant Rao, were now free to conspire and intrigue against each other unchecked. The Third Anglo-Maratha War would seal the fate of the Confederacy in 1818 on account of lack of unity and internal conflict. Thank you.